Quiero decir a mis amigos latinos, ahorita voy a traducir todo. Okay, so, so I, I, I prepared a few words and I, and I read them to Suzanne, but I spent most of the time crying. And she said, look, most of these people have seen you cry and they know you're a big crybaby, so don't worry about it. But uh, just in case, like, I brought a small... <laughs> This may be enough, but because I didn't want to forget, I did jot down a few words. And the first thing I'd like to do is, for those of you who don't know my sweetheart, I'd like to introduce Suzanne to her. When she returned to hospice, she had worked there before, so she and her two little boys, and Betsy and I, and a group of us from Hospice of Metro Denver, were walking in the AIDS walk that, that year, in the bad old days of AIDS. So, We've known each other, and the next year I started working at the care center where Suzanne was working, and we worked together for years and have been dear friends for years. Suzanne knew and loved Betsy, as so many of you did. And uh, so I went to a couple of three-month-long retreats, silent retreats, in 2014 and 2017, about an hour from where Suzanne moved, back to her childhood home in Holyoke. And we spent time after the retreat, and last fall we decided we were going to take a little trip through New England, and we saw the sights, and as it turns out, we fell in love. So we decided we didn't have any time to wait. So we decided to grow old-er together. So, uh, 
So, I, man, just seeing everybody from so many uh, facets of my life over the last 26 years, uh, I'm, I'm very moved. And I thank you all for being here. Uh, some of you, I just want to refer to my notes. So with some of you, we've practiced meditation together, either at a sitting group or a longer retreat. And for some of you, we've sat and worshiped in Quaker meeting or Catholic mass. Uh, many of us have had the honor of serving the dying uh, as, as they got close and, and transitioned into, into death, many of us. And, uh, and some of us have also had the good fortune of making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the homeless as well in, uh, in my retirement years. Uh, something I'll be continuing in Holyoke, as a matter of fact. And many of you, oh darn it, <laughs> many of you loved and cared for my wife Betsy. And I've got no words to thank you about that. We've laughed together, we've cried together, and now it's time to say goodbye. Uh, I was looking at the RSVP list uh, this morning, and I came upon uh, one of the folks who said maybe, and it made me quite sad because it was my friend Glenn from the Quaker meeting who uh, two months ago had RSVP'd, and he said maybe because he wasn't feeling well and hadn't felt well for a while. And Glenn died 12 days ago mm -hmm. now, and those of us in Mountain View meeting and the many, many people who knew and loved Glenn miss him an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Might be here. Yeah. I think you are here. He's probably wearing a kilt. If you see a ghost with a kilt on, that's <laughs> drinking some scotch. <laughs> so one of the important parts of my daily spiritual practice these days is to say to myself, May I live today as though it were the last day of my life. And for those of you, especially those of you not involved in hospice, that may sound kind of depressing or, um, or macabre, but it really isn't. Because as I reflect, you know, what if we really lived as though this might be the last day of our lives? And by the way, it might. Uh, perhaps we wouldn't carry so many grudges. Perhaps we wouldn't be as anxious. Uh, perhaps we would tell our family and our friends how much we love them. Uh, and it's, I've had a lot of last days in my life in these last few weeks as I've gone up to Echo Lake for the last time or done this or done that. Uh, and it's sad, but it's also, I, I find it very heart opening Great love, great compassion is, uh, is what my old Korean Zen master used to say. That is a human being's job. Great love, great compassion. <laughs> and, and it is, and it is. Um, <coughs> so the truth of it is, chances are, we won't see each other again, not everybody. I'll see some folks, but as I've been saying goodbye, you know, I've said, my friends have said, oh, I'll see you, yeah. Well, maybe, I hope so, but maybe not. And with that in mind, may I just say thank you for being my friend all these years. Thank you. And I'm really Keep partying now. It's time to enjoy. Eat the potato chips. <laughs> yeah, eat the chips. Drink the stuff. And, uh, and I'm going to keep... keep. Oh, so yes. I wanted to sing a song. Or yeah. even after you hear it. <clears throat> Richard landed in Denver with his lover, Betsy. Thanks to their dear friend, Martha, they came here to stay. They joined with the Quakers in Mountain View meeting. Treasure that presence right up to this day. Turns out the chorus has the same tune as the verses. <laughs> now we wish him farewell, but he's here in our memories. 
Easing that path. Oops, we'll be thinking of Richard every once in a while. And these memories will be only happy and myself. Only this moment in the world's sweetest smile. Now he spent many good years working in hospice. Easing that passage that comes at life's end. Listening and caring, turning fear to acceptance. Offering answers, but being a friend. Now we wish him farewell, but he's here in our memories. We'll be thinking of Richard every once in a while. And his memories will be only happy and wise stuff. Only this moment with the world's sweetest smile. As he lived with them and growing gradually weaker. And Richard beside her gave her a care. Built a long wooden ramp to the door of the meeting. Wheelchairs would be welcome there. Now we wish him farewell, but he's here in our memories. We're thinking of Richard every once in a while, and his memory will be only happy and wise stuff. Only this moment when the world's sweetest smile. Where the homeless are gathered by the big Denver shelters, Richard came with his water to be me and Jay, and along with the sandwich a human connection, a word and a smile in his own friendly way. Now we wish him farewell, but he's here in our memory. Thinking of Richard every once in a while. In these memories will be only happy and wise. In this moment, in the world, see the smile. Richard searches for the truth, inward and deeper. In the way of the blue and in silent retreat. But the most striking thing is the joy in his searching. How he brings that sweet smile to each person he meets. Now we wish him farewell, but he's here in our memories. We'll be thinking of Richard every once in a while. And those memories will be only happy and wise. This moment when the world sees the sun. Now he starts a new chapter, another heart journey. We're all excited to meet his Suzanne. And because we love Richard, we know that we'll love her. And trust her to care for this wonderful. We wish him farewell, but he's here in our memories. We'll be thinking of Richard every once in a while. And these memories will be only happy and wise. Only this moment.